Hi everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to do a pirate look. And I've already done most of it. Um, so I'm just going to show you, like tell you sort of what I did. <clears throat> and what I used were some ribbons, basically. My favorite was this gold lace one. It's not really lace, it's like a woven pattern. Then I have red, white, and I also have a black. But it went somewhere. Do you see it? <laughs> it went somewhere. <clears throat> anyway, so <clears throat> the first one I did was my signature hairdo. And I'm not going to tell you because it's a secret what it is. But, <clears throat> and I did it with the gold. And I used the gold probably the most. Then on this one, <clears throat> I just um, tied the gold ribbon up at the top. And then I just did it a regular braid with the gold as one of the pieces of hair. Um, and then I pancaked it. On this one, I had gold and black. The gold was actually inside or part of one of the um, hair pieces this time. Then I had this red, and I think I pancaked it. I don't know if I pancaked it or not. Not really good if I did, but anyways. So turn a little bit, please, the other way. Alright, then I did this white and black one, and it was sort of hard to keep the black showing up some, but I did do a pretty good job. Um, so yeah. Alright, the last one that I did was this one, and this is my favorite one. I don't know why, I guess it's because of the bow, and it's just so pretty, but it's, um, white and red, and the white to me, when I put it in, it sort of showed up a little bit of silver, I guess. Maybe it's because of um, the colors that I used it with, but anyway. So at the top, you've got these pieces poking out, and I didn't originally mean to do that, and I tried to hide it, but it sort of adds to it. Plus, that's not going to be showing once we put this pirate hat on. Anyway, so I just did that all the way down, and I had probably like a foot of extra at the bottom and I was like okay I want to keep this but I don't know what to do with it so what I ended up doing was twisting the two pieces together the um red and um silver or white or whatever I ended up twisting them together and then I just um left a little bit and then put in a bow and it looks it's a unique type of bow because it's two different colors then I took my curling iron and little pieces like over here is sort of messed up. So a little piece like this, I just took it and then take that part down. I just put it on the curling iron, twisted it around there and held it for 10 to 20 seconds. That was like 16, so it turned out pretty okay. And I just did little pieces of those all the way around. Then, last but not least, um, so far I've just taken the flat iron, gone through here, and then bumped up these pieces a little bit. Um, and to do that, I just took a tiny piece Put it like that on the on the round part, not the curved and caved in part. See, mine has a caved inside and then a rounded side. And I just took a tiny piece, laid it on the rounded side, and then twisted the rounded side, the side towards me down, like so. And it bumps it up. And then just take the pieces that are a little flat and bump them up. Take another piece. Oops. And bump that up. And I just did it over and over and over. And I'll show you the results of what I did earlier. Hang on. Let me do one or two more pieces. That's good. I'm going to grab this piece too because it's not working out so well. Alright, so this is what I did earlier, 
it's really bumped up. It's just like one hump. This one is a little bit wilder, and I want them wild. Some of them I want bumped up. Some of them I just want sticking straight out. That one's a mix of straight out and bumped up, so it's like a wild version, I guess. These are wet, so I can just pull them straight out or even try to bump them out a little bit. I'm just curling them, like bumping them outwards instead of inward by putting it on the caved in part instead of the curled part. Just mix things up a little bit. That's what makes pirates different. <laughs> um, obviously, this is a girl pirate, but if you've got long hair and you're a boy, you can do this too. It's just a little idea. You probably might not want to put all these girly styles in. Um, but yeah. So. And I'm just gonna do. I'm sort of surprised that this hasn't taken like taken like 12 minutes. But anyway, so that's just what I did. And you can even go in. This piece is poorly done. Can you turn some? Yeah. All right. So you can even go in, lay it on there, twist it around, whoops, like that, and then turn this on. Pull it down and then when you let go it should be curly unless I did it the wrong way which I'm pretty sure I did obviously because I'm not good at this at all but anyway so whatever and you can go in if you want to and bump up the pieces that aren't in the braids and whatnot too and just bump that up to give it some volume or something, whatever. And do whatever. You can also just take a brush like this. This is a roller brush and tease it some. Fix up the ends a little bit. That'll work. We'll come over to this side and tease that this a little bit more because that's not showing very well but whatever you do you always want to make sure that the braids pop out so thanks for watching remember thumbs up comment and subscribe hope you enjoy guys bye